Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. The current conditions in the Mid-South not doing too bad, and the forecast for today about where it was for yesterday, so looking pretty nice across much of the area. For today, your forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, northeast winds, plenty of sunshine, and temperatures in the green triangle down there back into the lower to mid-60s. Tonight's temperatures in the metro area back in the 40s, but areas across and around and away from Shelby County could be looking at more frost potential tonight, so the National Weather Service is considering issuing another frost advisory of some sort for later on this evening. The big story for this morning has, of course, been from across the planet and on the other side of the world uh, down toward New Zealand. We've seen Again, some powerful earthquakes, not in the Mid-South area. It's been very quiet here, but looking down into New Zealand, we've had some major earthquakes uh, recorded in the last couple of hours, including about 11 of them as we record this report for you this morning. Probably more of them to come. The major one of about a 7.8, and that occurred just to the south of the Christchurch area uh, in and around the area close to between the two islands, just right on the east coast. A tsunami has been reported. Uh, damage has been reported in New Zealand, and we'll be bringing you more information about that throughout the rest of the morning into the rest of the day today. Whether or not that tsunami is going to be a threat to the west coast of the United States or Hawaii, we'll be bringing you more about that information as we go throughout the rest of the day. So stay tuned to News Channel 3 as we keep up to date with this breaking and continuing story. Rest of the next few hours, temperatures will be back in the mid-50s as we get into the rest of the day today. Plenty of sunshine, but a few clouds here and there. Otherwise, very comfortable temperatures back in the lower 60s as we get into the rest of the day. Heidelberg Elementary, beautiful, a little bit on the frosty side this morning, and our weather, weather bug system cameras at wrg.com slash webcams. You can see Power Center Academy there as well with a little bit of those clouds off into the southern horizon looking off to the south from areas around Winchester and a beautiful view from Olive Branch, Mississippi as sunrise light begins to make its way across the area looking back toward the northwest. Precipitation zero for yesterday. That means we've only gotten a tenth of an inch for the entire month and this is typically one of the rainier months of the year. So we are way behind on rainfall, about almost two inches behind for the month of September. The dry weather continues across the Mid-South. Elevated risk of wildfires for today. And don't forget there are numerous burn bans in effect. All of northern Mississippi, counties under burn bans. Five counties in Tennessee but most of those counties are back over toward the eastern Tennessee area and are not in the Mid-South. So all of Tennessee, again, five counties so far. And in Arkansas, we have two counties, Poinsett and Cross, under burn bans, but no other counties in Arkansas in the News Channel 3 viewing area are under those burn bans at this time. Temperatures yesterday, you could not have gotten more spot on normal. 43 for a low temperature for this morning. 45 is our low temperature yesterday. 64 our high temperature yesterday. That's bingo spot on exactly where we should be, so a beautiful day there. Rest of the day today, numbers again back in the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s through about mid-morning. Early this afternoon, temperatures will be back in the upper 50s to lower 60s, so very close again to where we should be for this time of the year. And then getting into later on this evening, not doing too bad. Past about sunset, numbers will drop off pretty rapidly through the lower to mid 50s. And then getting into early tomorrow morning after News Channel 3 at 10, there will be some frost out there possible for the mid south. Temperatures in the lower 30s. And waiting for the bus stop, you may need to think about an extra jacket, some sort of layering for the kids if they're going to be waiting out there for quite some time. So something to think about if you have any kids at home heading for the bus stop. Clear, brisk, and sunny today. Very nice out there. Now tomorrow we may see the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms with a weak, small system coming through, especially Arkansas, Missouri, and into around Louisiana. But it's not going to amount to much. Should be some very limited chances of rainfall, and some of that could linger in the Mid-South into very early on Tuesday, but just not looking at a lot of activity. Now toward the end of the week, this is the good news. The chances of rainfall have has really started to rise as we get into and around 
Friday and into Saturday. About a 60% coverage chance on Friday and a 60% coverage chance early on Saturday. So that's definitely good news for the area because we could use some more rainfall. Does this mean severe weather? Way too early to tell at this point in time, but we will be monitoring that over the next few days. A big cool down as well. 70s on Friday, upper 50s by Saturday and Sunday. So a very cool, brisk weekend coming up and drying up pretty rapidly. Lows Saturday night into Sunday and again Sunday night into Monday dropping down into the mid to upper 30s. So a little bit chilly out there. Veterans Day was earlier this week taking a look toward Iraq. Temperatures back into the mid to lower 80s. Not doing too bad. A few more clouds around Baghdad and plenty of sunshine around Basra and Najaf. Into the Persian Gulf, temperatures again lower to mid 80s, decently comfortable for this area at this time of the year. Can get some pretty good sandstorms going on, but not taking place at this time. Afghanistan, temperatures in the 50s and 60s, a little bit closer to what the Mid-South feels like at this time of the year, and that's just right after the sun has set at about 541 Afghanistan time. And back into South Korea, the DMZ, and down toward the Pusan area where the perimeter was held, long time ago. Seoul and areas around there, upper 50s to lower 60s. Some rain around Pusan and Taegu, but mostly cloudy skies around Chuncheon and Seoul and Kunsan. Again, a big thank you to all the veterans out there for everything you've done. Back into the area here, check out my forecast on the EAB network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, and on the radio tomorrow morning, AM 730, Monday through Friday, with Talk Back Live and Memphis in the morning. Great opportunity for you to learn about what's going on across the Mid-South, especially where it comes to current events and sports out there. And if you'd like, whatever platform you've got, get the app available for your cell phone or pad whatever system you use, go to your app store and search WREG weather. Updates on the earthquakes in New Zealand as we get them throughout the rest of the day, so stay tuned for updates on that. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments, and whatnot, complaints if you absolutely have to, austin.onic at WREG.com, and you can find out more. Facebook Messenger maybe kind of sort of gets through every once in a while, but your best bet is to contact me here and let me know what you're thinking. If there's something on here you'd like to see, please pass it along, and we'd be glad to see what we can do about adding again as necessary when it is pertinent. We try to focus on what's going on, the major events when it happens like the earthquakes this morning. That's the type of stuff we'd like to pass along to you when possible. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This has been the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime from downtown Memphis. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates throughout the rest of the day after NFL football and into tonight on the late edition. We'll have all the weather for you straight on into early tomorrow morning with News Channel 3's Todd Demers, so stick around.